the nice weather, the good food, meeting a lot of new people, and just, yeah, being in a place I've never been before. Fun. Learning about new cultures and like, seeing how their way of life is different to ours. And kind of like, just I'm interacting with people that are quite opposite, not opposite, but quite different to us. Quite interesting. I wonder how different it actually is from England because um, I'm expecting to be quite. Um, quite different and I hope it's not complete. I think there will be some obvious similarities but um, you know you hear so much about like what it's like in Africa and I, I want to see like how much of it's true. And see. Yeah how much the story is true. Yeah, it was a really, really long journey. Finally, we got here and it's really good. The weather's good and we're quite excited. We're going to stay overnight at um, um, Puto. And so, can't wait until tomorrow for the service. And then starting school on Monday, so. labeled like 110 and 30 and stuff like that. I can see how it must have been with the Italian lire and stuff like that. Did I say that right? I suck at languages. I'm really trying, but I think everyone here is kind of laughing at me. <laughs> Chocolate! Whatever their currency is. Like much more adventurous than I thought because I didn't realise how far we'd have to like travel. Yeah. How far did we have to? How many hours have we been travelling? Ten, ten hours about the ten hours about the um, ten hours about the bus. <gasps> what bus? So, okay, so basically, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we come at the airport and it's like a cheese handy little bus and, and we have yeah, to fit. Like on each, well, we're not sitting on each other, yeah, but it's like fit 12, 12 people. people in this kind of suitcases with two suitcases drivers. and we're like squashed up Literally and it's on top kind of, of each other. Yeah, and yeah. It was oh, it was really so fun, much. but it was a really long drive. But everyone's been really nice, and mm -hmm. we had really nice food, and it was quite kind of like westernized food. It wasn't Mozambican yeah. food. What you traditionally stereotype as African? I want. I want to. Then, can we? Okay. So what have I said to you about this whole yeah, yeah, African yeah, food? Yeah. So I'm saying that we should stop stereotyping. We should stop stereotyping. Why? Because, Why? Because it's not true, and not every country is the same in Africa. Right, because so Africa is a continent, a and massive continent. I really want to each country is different. Mozambique is different to Kenya, and Kenya is different to
Olympic, there are 1,200 students, both girls and boys. A escola está ainda. A escola está ainda só para ir por cinco cursos, né? Né? Se na ni mil quatrocentos e cinquenta. Vava Jose, vava Lulu. Ah, vava Sat, vava Lulu. Mil quatrocentos e cinquenta. And we have uh, some young students who are 11 and then all the way up to 18. And we have 11 years old, so we can speak to 18 years old. And we have 11 years old, so we can speak to 18 years old. We have lots of music, and we have lots of music, and also we have lots of music. Nipu tua música, nipu, vai, 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 And if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ, he does not belong to Christ. But if Christ is in you, your body is dead because of sin, yet your spirit is alive because of righteousness. And if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give you life to, uh, give life to your mortal bodies. Through his spirit, who lives in you. Lord continue to bless you and prosper you as you proclaim in word and deed the glorious good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. With thanks for our partnership in the gospel of Bishop Richard. I did my own boy, it's like day structured in Massey and School? Well, they have the National Anthem at 6.45 and we were pretty much on time every day but I don't think it really started at that time. Attention! Let's start with the National Anthem. It's about 8 hours. Temos aqui a nossa dama do hino, vamos nos apresentar. Vamos lá. Primeira parte. 
Sanji. Primeira fase. Sanji. Combate a detenção da Gaivesi. Apoio. Olha o fundo do combate pela paz. Preciso de uma luta na bandeira. E vai lá para o nosso terra da manhã. Moçambique nossa terra gloriosa. Pega pega construindo um novo dia. Actually, it was uh, written soon after independence. But at that time, there was another anthem which was rather more revolutionary. But after the, the end of the war, actually we needed um, an anthem which did not praise only one section of the society, which was the liberators of the country. So we need a country which is, which is national and which it brings together, I mean, that sense of, of the unit and oneness in the country itself. So the, 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 that anthem which had been written long ago and then put, uh, set aside, then it came back to be discussed again and reshaped. And there was actually uh, some kind of, uh, of, um, of tender different groups that were invited to, 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 to offer uh, proposals, but still that one was the one which was reshaped and uh, came to be uh, accepted by all. It is a strong, a very strong and patriotic anthem. For example, the, the choruses, it says, um, Mozambique, beloved country, um, which is constructed by many hands, you know, millions of, 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 of hands um, and, and putting together the stones to build this country and, and we will conquer. It's a very motive, motivating and powerful uh, statement of nationalism and, and the unity. Um, so I, I think you, 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 it's one of the pieces that you are going to take, you should take and analyze it. And, you know, because it's got a lot of work for what a nation should be in a developing country like that. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we thank you for the beauty of this new day and for one another. We ask for your blessing in our learning and in our sharing of time together. Help us to grow in faith and love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And then everyone goes to lessons at like seven. The people in the morning have school from seven till twelve or six or five till twelve. And then people who have afternoon school have it from like twelve fifteen to five. So basically half the school's there in the morning, half the school's there in the afternoon. But they have, so they'll go to a lesson straight away, and then sometimes there'll be double lessons. But they're mainly 45 minutes of lessons, I think. And we've been to a few, so we kind of experience, like, you know, what the lessons are like.
it like singing in front in a class of year sevens? Walk slowly think, before I fall down. I think we should probably plan a bit more beforehand. Mm -hmm. Just because it was a little bit kind of Um Yeah, I think also because some of them were younger, they were laughing more, which was a bit of a push yeah. yeah. Um, and also we didn't really know what we were singing. But it's still fun. <laughs> yeah, it's still fun. Like, yeah. Yeah. Just what do you think? Singing. What do you think about the um, differences in terms of like singing songs and things like that between you what you were singing and what they were singing? Like tame our singing yeah. <laughs> when we get up, like because yeah. obviously when there's less of us, it's not as like lively as it is like with gospel choir. But like you realise, kind of like, and they're more smiling. They're, yeah, and they're more kind of like, more energy in their singing yeah. really, just okay. like naturally kind of. Yeah. Like they definitely smile just like just comes yeah. right with us, it's like, okay, smile. Yeah. And then we'll smile. <laughs> Well, the chemistry lesson was quite similar to ones we have in, in England um, because they were kind of just doing theory on the board so they were doing the masses of um, different elements and the molecular mass if you have to put different elements together um, and so that was interesting to see because we've all done that in school and it was quite similar um, but what was different was that there was almost no individual work so oh, at no point did they say, like, do these questions. It was all um, kind of call and response. It was just like one big conversation. And also I was quite surprised that they were doing it in year nine. Um, like, I don't think I remember doing that. It was class nine. I don't think I remember doing that until year ten. Um, and I really liked how everyone was involved. And the teacher kept stopping and saying, do you understand, do you understand? Um, and they all answered us all. We've been to quite a few Portuguese lessons in the school. Oh, yeah.